Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna talk about, is it still a good time to refinance? I've been getting that question a lot and the answer today is, it depends. Really, it does depend because depending on where your interest rate is at, maybe you just recently came through a refinance you know, a few years ago and you're hearing that rates have dipped again and so you're wanting to, to check to see if the um, rate, if this is still a good time for you to, to refinance, I would say let's take a look at your uh, current interest rate. You know, Usually if you're about a half a percent, um, if it's a half a percent lower, then maybe it does make sense for you to refinance. Depending upon your loan amount as well, I usually may see like an $80,000 loan amount, you might need to actually see a, a, a one to one and a half percent difference in an interest rate for it to make sense. Um, and so what I, would, I, what I would look at is really comparing where you are today from an interest rate standpoint, also from a payment standpoint, and then what that cost for that refinance would look like. For us, that's what we call our return on uh, investment. The other thing that I would look at is if you have mortgage insurance today. So many of my buyers who have FHA financing or who had purchased a home utilizing FHA financing, obviously with the appreciation that we've seen here in Las Vegas over the, the course of the, few, the last few years, there might be an opportunity for you to actually look to refinance so Solely just to reduce the mortgage insurance and you know in some cases that could be hundred and fifty dollars to two hundred and fifty dollars and so just by doing a refinance into a conventional loan to remove your mortgage insurance which you do have to have about 20 percent equity um, position in your property and we will absolutely have to uh, verify that through an appraisal but that could be a benefit in addition to you refinancing into a lower interest rate. So a lot of times as I'm looking through um, or working with my FHA clients, that's the first thing that we look at is are you in position to remove or reduce your mortgage insurance as well as take advantage of the lower, lower interest rates. I do also have some clients today taking advantage of a cash out refinance and, and solely to help them in a financial situation where they may need to um, reduce their credit card debts. Um, I've also seen some take advantage of our student loan refinance. And so um, when we're going through that process, we're looking at what the actual amount of debt we would be paying off and how that affects their current payment that they're paying with their, you know, on their debts today versus what that cash out refinance would look like with the the increased balance. I um, mean, in some cases, it's actually much lower, right? And so in some cases, I've, I've actually encouraged my clients to, although they're doing this refinance for a lower payment, or they're going to be receiving a lower payment, perhaps taking the exact same amount that they're paying on those credit card debts today and paying that towards this new mortgage. So effectively it reduces the uh, term or the time that they're gonna be having to pay and also the interest that they're gonna have to be paying over the course of the um, term. The most important thing to do is truly to reach out to your lender. Now, you can always go to your servicer um, to ask this question, but I would always look to get a second or third opinion um, and asking your, your, and working with a lender who really is looking out for your best financial interest. My goal is to help my clients build uh, wealth through their real estate. And so knowing that what your priorities are going to be just going through a refinance will help me decide, will help us de decide together what would be the right um, opportunity for you, whether it is to truly go through with a refinance. The other question I get with regards to your refinance is, what are the top things to consider? So the top things that I would consider is, how much savings are you really going to be um, having over the course of the, the term? And are we reducing your term? Are we um, extending this term? What are gonna be the overall costs for your refinance? And what's that timeline gonna look like for you to recover those costs? The other question I ask my clients when they're looking at refinancing is, how long do you plan to live in this home? I mean, if you're looking to refinance and the cost to refinance, you might not recoup that within a couple of years, but you plan to move out uh, of state or maybe move up into a new home, I, I actually would encourage my clients to just stay put, keep the rate that they have, knowing that they're motivation is going to be getting out of this loan within the next few years and that they wouldn't recoup the cost 
um, of this refinance. Most importantly, it's really to have a, a great conversation with your lender to discuss what your financial goals are with your refinance, and then from that you can make the best decision on whether it's the, the right time for you. A couple of questions I also get is I get asked is what does this process look like? Can I just streamline this? Can I just sign on the dotted line? And unfortunately, we do have to go through all new paperwork. So you will go through the same process um, as far as a loan transaction is concerned. So disclosures, you'll have to provide your documentation, although typically it is limited. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to provide your full W-2s, uh, pay stubs. We can pull most of those in from the previous loan. We do need to get an updated mortgage statement, your current homeowner's insurance, and whatever your HOA statements are if you have, if you have that. And in some cases, depending upon if, if, if it's VA or FHA, we would require the actual note, which is usually included in your closing document. So know that there are also some opportunities for you to streamline refinance, which if you have an FHA loan today and maybe you're not ready to do a conventional loan, we can do an FHA streamline as well as a VA interest rate reduction, which is a much uh, quicker process as far as no appraisal and then limited income documentation. If you do have a second mortgage or you have solar panels on your property, that is something that, that does require additional documentation. So. Typically for the solar panels, we do have to subordinate, and actually for the second loan, we'll have to provide or request for a subordination agreement through the solar panel uh, company and or the second lien holder. So just wanted to take you through what it would look like for you if you do make that decision to refinance, be prepared for, for us at Prosperity Lending, we can actually get a loan close, a refinance close well within a 30 day period. And so we are um, giving the opportunity for our clients to pretty much um, skip their two months payments, right? They're gonna skip their current, current payment. We close them in that month and then they take advantage of skipping the following payment and their payment would be due the following month. So if you've um, liked this information about refinancing, if you have questions about refinancing and if this is the right time for you, please make sure to uh, DM me or uh, comment below and then again if you know of anybody who's looking to refinance and have these same questions make sure that you share this information and then check out my youtube channel and uh, make sure you smash that notification button so that you can get get all of the great videos that i'm going to be placing on this youtube channel have a great day